Hey there everybody, Eric from Outer Limitless coming at you today with another video. Now today on the Eric Outer channel, which is the firearms portion of my Outer Limitless channel, we are going to talk about a particular gun safe that, well, for me, I was hoping it was going to get me started, but unfortunately at this point, I am pretty sure that, well, I'm getting what I paid for. Unfortunately, I'm having a little bit of an issue, so I'm going to need to go to plan B, which is for another day. But today, we are going to look at this safe, which was my original plan A. Well, this here is the Durabox, which is a front-loading safe, which I thought was going to be about perfect for me. But unfortunately, there is a significant deficiency. Now, maybe this can be resolved maybe it can't i'm not too sure but with that said i have a whole bunch to do and a whole bunch to share with you and if you're interested in seeing a little bit more about what i'm about to get into do me a favor stay tuned now if you're interested in hiking camping backpacking flashlights edc tactical gear knives you name it do me a favor, take a look at my Outer Limitless YouTube channel for more details. But again, here today, the Eric Outer portion of my Outer Limitless YouTube channel, here we are talking about this Durabox safe, which again, unfortunately, has a little bit of a deficiency. Well, more than a little bit. In fact, when I let this go, it is literally stuck open. This came with some instructions, very straightforward came with some batteries, even had some keys. Well, this is sort of one of those keypad style uh, entries, unfortunately, this definitely has an issue because, well, it will not stay shut no matter what I do. So I did manage to get this open. I got the batteries installed. I was even able to reprogram the code, but no matter what I do, this will not stay shut. And well, I've looked online, I've looked at other people's YouTube videos on this, there's not a ton out there. And well, why did I go with this Durabox in the first place? Well, being completely realistic, when you get into firearms, and keep in mind, my channel at this particular time is really, I would say, novice to novice. So for me, getting started, I needed to get myself a safe and there are so many upfront costs that come with getting a firearm. Maybe you have to get your license, which for me required taking a course. So I paid for the course, I paid the license fee, I bought my firearm, I had to do an FFL transfer, I paid the transfer fee. At this point, need to buy a safe, need to buy a holster, need to buy an ammo box, need to buy ammo. It adds up very, very quickly. So I wanted to make a purchase that for me checked a few of the boxes. So why did I go with this particular model? Well, first, just purely being legally responsible. Having a proper safe, which met the letter of the law. That's the first thing. Second, keeping my kids' hands off of my firearm. That's number two. Number three, doing it in an affordable way so I could learn what I really wanted. Now, is this perfect? Is this the solve all, do all safe for me? The answer is probably no. But until I figure out exactly what I wanted, I thought I could do something that was a fairly reasonably cheap and economical solution to getting me started. And unfortunately, at this point, well, I'm literally paying the price. So again, I'm not sure exactly what's going wrong with this. Bottom line is, well, if you look at the sort of construction, it's pretty straightforward. You end up with this shelf in here, which sits on some pegs in the back. Now, when you look at uh, different photos of this, that shelf looks to be larger. It is certainly not. When you look at this, that shelf is all the way in the back. Now, I thought this would work out pretty well for me, where you could have your firearm in there, no problem. A couple of magazines, a little bit of ammo. Am I capable of doing that? Certainly, not a problem. You could even fit a couple of firearms if you so choose. 
Now, that's pretty good. The inside of this is foam, which is nice, so it's going to be a little bit soft. It's not going to cause any damage or scratches to any of your stuff, which is kind of nice. And at the same time, makes it just a little bit quieter. Now, you do end up with the three buttons right on top. So as you look here, you can program this keypad with any combination up to eight moves. So you could do theoretically one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. If you so choose, that would be eight pushes of the button. Or you could literally just do one, two, three. It depends any combination thereof between three and eight digits. Now, if you don't have batteries or they run out, you do end up with the keys, which allows you to pretty much open this. So the first thing I did was I opened it with the key, got it open and started working on the installation of my batteries. Now the batteries do go inside. There's a spot right up in the top. No problem. Got the batteries installed and put the battery cover on there. And then there's also a reset button. So reaching on the inside, you'll see if I long press there, hold it down. Well, once I do that, I can reprogram. One, two, three, one, two, three. Push the button again. It blinks at that point. You plug it in a second time. So one, two, three, one, two, three. Hit the button. It blinks green twice. So that means in theory, the code took, which means at this point, I should be able to shut the safe. But no matter what I do, I cannot get this to close. It will not latch. I've tried using the keys, jiggling it around, trying to get this to go. If I turn this just a little bit, can I get this to shut? Again, no matter what I do, this will not work. So something is is messed up in the locking mechanism and preventing it to actually latch. So that's a problem. Now again, going back to the, well, you get what you pay for. If you look at this actual latch, this is welded completely crooked. Now, is that what's contributing to my problems here? I'm not too sure, but I'm gonna go maybe. So at this point, unfortunately, like I said with the safe, I'm going to plan B for now because plan A simply is not working. So I do need to exchange this hopefully for a working DuraBox. Um, and at that point, let's see what happens. So time to send this back and go with the next one. And so now out with the old and in with the new. Here I have my replacement. Now it's been actually a couple of weeks. So I've been waiting for this and things have not been exactly ideal, but getting into this, I am literally going to unbox it this time on camera. So at least you can see no games, no shenanigans around here. And so getting into this and opening this up, this does come packaged in some styrofoam. So it does come fully protected, should not have any problem in the shipping process. So I don't think that was my problem. Again, you'll see the instructions, the batteries and the keys. Fully unwrapping this here and well, DuraBox number two. And this is where I was last time when things went south on me. The first thing I did was take the key, remove it and put it in. Turned the key to open it. And that opens it up. Now, theoretically, am I missing something? Do I not understand how this is supposed to work? <laughs> Maybe it's just me because this one doesn't close either yet. Yes, it does. Okay, so hold on. Let's try this one more time. There. This latch sucks. That's the problem. So. Look at that. Turn on the key. Is this stuck now? Wow. 
why won't this open? I'm literally just attempting to... Uh-oh. It's stuck. This one's now <laughs> stuck shut. Oh, what the heck? Stupid Durabox. Look at that. Can you imagine needing your firearm and this is what you come across? This is this is sad. This is just not good at all. Let me try the other key. It, it only turns this way. So, you know, working on the key here, just to be clear, okay? I was thinking maybe this could go the other way, but it doesn't. It only turns in one direction, okay? So that is counterclockwise, turning it all the way. Now, this is literally stuck shut. I need something like a flat ruler now to get in, and can I jimmy this open? I don't, I don't even know. This is pathetic. This is, oh, it went. What is going on? This sucks. So let me take this out. I'm gonna put the batteries in just for the sake of doing that. I don't know how I feel about this. This is definitely suspect. So now with the batteries installed, well, I can tell you already, I am definitely very nervous about this because when I go to turn the key, like this won't even drop down. And I mean, I, I messed with it long enough last time that I was able to get it to go, but it's not really working well. Now the preset code from the factory is one, two, three. It just released. Why didn't it fly open? One, two, three. That's not good. Oh, this thing sucks. So to everybody out there, I would say definitively do not buy a Durabox. Again, you are going to get what you pay for. Now, is there a way to get this to pop open? I'm like nervous of putting anything in here. Like what if I can't get it out? Oh. This sucks. I can say I definitively do not, do not recommend this at all. And so I do have to say that's pretty disappointing. I mean, the real basic function, like door open, door closed, uh, with a, you know, literally like mechanical lock. Now, this should not be difficult. This is fairly straightforward product. How people give this even a reasonable review, I, I can't understand it. I can't be the only one having problems. I've had two of these in a row. Neither of them worked. I just don't get it. So unfortunately, with the Durabox, you definitely get what you pay for. Now there's other products that are very similar to this and also in a similar price range. I'm kind of curious about them. So I don't know, will I just return these and buy a similar product from another brand? Hard to say, but bottom line is right now, I need myself a solution. And so if you're watching this and you're brand new to firearms and you're trying to get yourself started, well, don't make it a Durabox purchase because, well, if you do, you're going to need to be buying something else. So, all right, guys, thanks for stopping by. I hope you like what you saw. I hope you found it a little bit informative. If you like what you saw, please like, share, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for stopping by. Take care now. I'll see you soon.